The spinal cord gives rise to nerves which innervate various parts of the body, including the arms and the legs. The nerves exit the spine through these holes, which are called the neuroforamen. Many time there is a treatable cause, such as what you see here, a disc herniation. Other times, the pain can originate from the nerve roots themselves, or if a patient had previous surgery, there may be scar tissue. This procedure that I'm performing was done on a patient who had previous back surgery. This causes him to have a permanent nerve root disorder. He has continuous pain down his legs. Treatment options are limited, but we discussed performing this ablation today. Here you see in a fluoroscopic picture the two screws in the vertebral bodies at L4 and L5 and at the tips of the nerves you can appreciate that there is scar tissue where they are exiting. Here you see the two insulated wires being placed at the levels at L4 and L5. The treatment wire first being introduced at L5. First we do a stimulation of the muscles at the level of L5 and then after a pause you'll see we stimulate the nerves at L4. So the needles are in good position at the level of the nerves so that the pulsed ablation can achieve good benefit by stunning the nerves to alleviate the patient's pain. Lastly, this is a fluoroscopic projection with the two wires in the neuroforamen. You again see the screws in place in the vertebral bodies. There is good dye spread from the neuroforamen into the epidural space. So this is an excellent treatment to stun the nerves to achieve long-term benefit from this type of condition.